Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna to be an update video on my original video for the three month visa. If you haven't seen that, check it out up here. But today I wanna to talk about the one month version of it. Before we get started, can you guess where I'm at? Whoever can, free cookies. Free cookies for who can guess. The first video we talked about the three month extension. And the reason I did is because I kept getting told by a lot of people, hey, you can get a three month visa, you just gotta apply through the website. And I applied for it and check the video to see how that went. So after we got that done, the next step was to, to go through the one month visa. When the three month got declined, and this is a reason why there's a lot of confusion. This is, I really think it's just a miscommunication within the government, the guy that puts the stuff on the website, is because it only says visas that people are allowed in Vietnam as of right now per their documents. You can apply through a different process, which is called the e-visa. What I would have did is I did the one month e-visa. Stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll kind of tell you how that went in the whole process. So in regards to getting the visa, March 15th is when they finalize it. And mind you, they didn't finalize it till the end of March 14th. So it's like a last minute thing. They're speaking, and I've heard a few people say this, even a comment said this, April 15th is when they're gonna roll out the three month, pretty much open up everything. If this is the same thing as how it went before, it's not in stone. The government's really taking its time on this. I'm not sure why. There's no reason to, I mean, read the science. In regards to people asking, can you extend, can you extend? The answer right now is no, per the Vietnam government. But again, we know how that goes. If that is the case, then we will be looking at doing visa extensions are going to be done by doing border runs. And in regards to having insurance and stuff like that, from my understanding from the website and the government website, is you do need to have insurance for the 30 days. So if you every time you do a visa run, you gotta get that $30 insurance, you gotta get that stupid test again. So you're looking at about $120 visa run, almost every month. So hopefully they do clear this up because if they don't, that's what we'd be looking at if you're trying to stay longer than a month. Now, if you do have a business or work permit, this is all done through your company. Those are still extendable. They've never canceled out extensions of business or work permits. If you're working for a company that's still sponsoring you, this doesn't at all affect you. All right, so if you do want to apply for this, and let me kind of go through the process of it if you're trying to learn what to do. So the first part is you need insurance. Insurance needs to be up to $10,000. The cost of it's like 20 to $30. I, I use General for my travel insurance. And I see a lot of comments saying, you know, it's only 20 or $30. The, the point case of it is you have to do this every month. And it's also, you're, you're paying insurance for what? You do need to have another test taken every time you re-enter the country. You do need to do the 72 hours, and I believe it's 24 hours for the allergen. I don't know what these tests are. <laughs> but you need to have one of the tests before you come back in. So if you're doing a border run or you're coming for the first time, you do need to have that test. And in regards to the actual cost, it's $25 for the visa itself, the process online. Now, what Vietnam has done is they've got rid to agents, third-party websites. I've went through, I went through two different websites to apply for the visa. All of, both of them are rejected me, both of them refunded me. One of the websites actually locked their website now after I did that. What Vietnam has done is they've followed the same thing Thailand does in regards to having a e-visa. In Thailand, you have a Thailand pass. In Vietnam, you have an e-visa. This is, again, according to the website, this is where a lot of information is coming from is the government directly, is it's allowing them to follow where tourists are in case there is another breakout. So you have to apply through an e-visa. The e-visa is only for 30 days. This is why there is no extension. This is for the tourist side of it all, right? When you do get to the airport, you just have the normal $25 fee. So it, all this stuff is the same. It's 25 to get in, it's 25 for the stamp. The additives, it's about $30 for the insurance. It's about 40 to $60 for the test. So you are looking at a good amount of money to get into Vietnam as of right now. There is good news, you, you can work as of now. So if you do come to Vietnam on a 30 day tourist visa, you can switch that over to a business visa if you find a job. I was looking through Facebook, looking at some of the, the forums. There is a lot of places looking for teachers right now to start right now. So there's definitely that option to start working right now if that is your intention to come out here. So that leads me to the last part today and I want to leave it up to you guys for the e-visa. It was approved so everything is good there but this brings a dilemma and I want to leave it up to you guys. I already have a visa for Laos that I'm supposed to leave here in a couple of days and now I have a Vietnam visa. I haven't bought a plane ticket yet so I want you to leave a comment below. Where do you want to see me go next? Go to Laos or are we go to Vietnam? Let me know below. I'm going to look I'm gonna let this video ride out for about three days before I make the final decision. Put your vote below where you wanna see Vietnam or Laos for the next destination that we head up. But either way, guys, I think we're good here. Hit that subscribe button if you do like these types of informal videos and smash the like button. And until then, I will see you again.